All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, man, it feels like I'm almost like a broken record here, right? Because truth be told, I've lost count on how many videos we've made talking about pretty much. Like, it seems like every few months, and it maybe even be more rapid than that now, uh, to the point where every few weeks, right, there's some sort of new allegation that comes out about Dream. And a lot of people are just completely enamored with this story, right? Because like I said, it's been going on for so long now that it just feels Feels like it should have ended so long ago, man. I mean, usually when it comes to like online creators getting accused of being a groomer or doing some really weird stuff online, right? Th there's only one, maybe two allegations really made, but like at this point, there's more dream allegations that are uncovered on Twitter and in Google Docs and whatnot every few weeks than there are grains of sand on this planet, right? Like, I'm not sure how one person can have so many different allegations brought forward against them. But yesterday uh, was actually supposed to be a pretty big day regardless in this whole like dream uh, grooming allegation kind of situation, right? Because from what we heard yesterday, Dream was supposed to finally drop this like fabled response video, right? Where he supposedly had all this proof and all this evidence that vindicated him, right? Where... As all these allegations have been made for like a year plus at this point, apparently he had been working in the background for a whole long time, right? And he was just gathering piece by piece all of this evidence that proved that none of these allegations were true. Well, that was supposed to come out yesterday, right? And I feel like we were all kind of like waiting, you know, because the announcements kind of hit the air. I've been waiting for this because, you know, I've made multiple videos talking about this and the guy's supposed to vindicate himself, right? He's supposed to clear his name, but instead we get a 24 page Google doc from a burner account, which by the way, I want to point that out. This is a burner account uh, that posted this and in this 24 page Google doc, there is screenshots, evidence, all kinds of different things, basically tying Dream's Snapchat account back into all of this. And that's one thing about a lot of these allegations is this dude is being accused of using Snapchat for just like all the time when it comes to these things, man. Like he not doing this shit on Twitter. He's not doing this on Facebook Messenger, right? He is loving Snapchat when it comes to this stuff. I think it's because he thinks the messages delete or whatever. So like he's safe, but that's not really how the app works. Uh, I mean, that's kind of misleading. Sure, they don't save or whatever, but you can easily just change it to save the messages or screenshot them or whatever you may do with them. And of course, you know, now that all these new allegations have come out, right? Uh, I guess that's I has to be the reason, right? Why he delayed his response. We didn't end up getting the dream video or response to all this. So we're going to go ahead and break these allegations down real quick and then just kind of talk about all this, right? So uh, there's a pretty deep Twitter thread, right? That kind of summarizes a lot of this stuff. Thankfully, because honestly, there's no way I can really break down a 24 page Google Doc in a video and it not just be like ridiculously long, right? So, if you're somehow unaware of everything that's happened up until this point, Dream has been accused numerous times of like trying to groom underage fans and like do weird things, you know, send sexually charged messages to them, flirt with them, things like that, right? Even though he's like apparently knowing they're 16, 17, whatever, right? This allegation, it's a 16 year old. Uh, but that, that's the allegation, right? He's just sending these weird ass messages to people knowing he shouldn't be. So the first piece uh, of evidence or whatever that kind of like brings all of this forward, right, is apparently... So about a week ago, apparently this account came to Twitter and it was sharing some videos and whatnot that suggested that Dream had sent some sexually charged messages to what has now been worked out to be a 16-year-old girl apparently named Jamie on Snapchat, right? And Jamie has privated her Twitter account but apparently this burner account, which I'll address that here in a second as well, uh, used the Wayback Machine and found old tweets across three different usernames. And even though that uh, not all the tweets obviously could be really archived in this whole thing, uh, they did find some from three different usernames that uh, were of note, right? So they basically go through the tweets. They find that this account confirms that they were 16 on August 31st, 2019 by, you know, saying, oh, they'll be 18 on December 1st, 2020. Uh, so they kind of broke the dates down there and they found out, you know, that at the time this Jamie girl was 16 years old uh, when a Snapchat exchange took place between her and Dream that obviously was pretty questionable according to all the allegations, right? And this Jamie girl had never really hidden her age or anything online. I mean, there's tweets of her from the past where, you know, she says she'll be legal next year, things like that. 
Uh, it, she's only a year older than another user who had just turned 18 or whatever. Or I should say a year younger. Uh, it's a pretty big slip up. But anyway, it's one of those things, right, where it kind of lines up with like a lot of the other allegations, right? I mean, it kind of at this point seems like same song and dance. We've already heard this a million times. We've already heard this with all these other stories, right? You know, he'll find some younger girl on Snapchat. She's typically a fan of him or whatever, right? Or a fan of like the SMPs or whatever he's involved in. Uh, he finds a way to add them on Snapchat. The next thing you know, he's moaning into a microphone, right? That, that's what basically a lot of these allegations have boiled down to. This doesn't really seem any different, to be honest, right? Like, I mean, it, it starts going into detail about how she's like, uh, she becomes involved in the Minecraft YouTube Twitters. And, you know, she starts becoming a fan of like these other Minecraft creators and whatnot. And you know how this goes, right? People in that community. Either they make it their personality like not to insult any victims or anything but people in minecraft twitter and whatnot right like they make fan accounts they make stan accounts they just incessantly tweet about shit like this right but basically right uh, as this is all happening it's kind of lining up like a lot of these other allegations you know he, he finds a fan he gets them on snapchat whatever it may be uh, but yeah, he basically, he, he gets involved in these communities that she's involved in. One thing leads to another, right? Uh, and uh, basically, it all boils down to one date, August 31st, 2019. Which, by that point, Jamie still had clarified, according to her tweets, that she was an underage girl, right? And keep in mind, if you want to see all of the full thread of evidence, you want to see like the full Google Doc, I'll leave those in a pinned comment or in the description down below. That way you can go take a look at like the full thing. I'm really only kind of like going over the really important parts that are like really pertaining to the allegation. The background information that can be provided to you pretty simply, pretty straightforward. I'm just going straightforward with it and you know, instead of documenting it straight up in the video. Like I said, that stuff, uh, if you want to go all the way in depth will be down below. So on August 31st, 2019, Jamie sent several external recordings of someone going by Dream Dream sending her explicit videos. The avatar and name of the person matches Dream's Snapchat account. Dream showed up in Jamie's Bitmoji stories, so they certainly talked. So once again, right, uh, if you've seen any of the other videos, I guess, talking about previous allegations made against Dream, I mean, that Bitmoji and that name, they're, uh, there's something that you have come to see before, right? Because, like I said, for whatever reason on Snapchat, this guy is just fucking apparently talking to literally all of his fans or something. I have no idea. And I mean, this is just, it's literally the exact same kind of allegation that we've seen before. So, like, if these allegations are true, there's quite a pretty disturbing pattern in all of this, right? So... So, and then apparently after, you know, Dream allegedly sends her these explicit videos and whatnot on Snapchat, you know, trying to groom this underage girl and whatever, she starts posting to some of her old Twitter accounts uh, handles here and uh, she's pretty upset, right? And she wouldn't really talk about publicly like what was bothering her. Keep in mind, this is all literally at the same exact time that Dream is allegedly sending her these explicit messages on Snapchat. The same day and then in some instances like uh, 24 hours later. So this is all pretty like around that same time here you'll see those tweets on your screen now uh basically it, it's nothing too insane it's just mostly like a pretty clear sad posting or whatever here right so yet another allegation against dream in this entire thing 24 page google doc it came out on a burner account let me address that real quick right because a lot of people are saying oh but if these dream allegations are actually real and people are you know actually upset about this and whatnot why are people making burner accounts to go public well, the reason that I see for why people are doing that is just simply because of Dream and, in reality, the larger Minecraft Twitter audience, right? Like, for years now, anyone who has even remotely criticized or disliked Dream in any way, especially, like, publicly on Twitter, has just been putting themselves out there to just be fucking harassed by dozens, if not hundreds, of terminally online stands who just, you know, the only thing they give a fuck about in life is watching Minecraft YouTube content content and whatnot, right? So basically anytime anyone talks about Dream negatively publicly, uh, they have historically just been completely swarmed by his fans who just act like the biggest assholes towards any of his detractors. So I think people are just trying to avoid situations like that when they go with these burners and whatever, right? Now, of course, like I said, Dream was supposed to respond to the like eight allegations that have 
already been made against him in the first place uh, yesterday. And then, of course, this whole thread comes out. I'm assuming he had to have seen it, right? It has like 50,000 likes. You know, it's gotten all this attention. People are talking about it. I assume he's probably already seen this thread in this Google Doc and whatnot by now. And it's apparently delayed his video responding to this whole thing yet again, right? Which is bad because the last time allegations were made, people were already getting kind of fed up like, yo, dude, if you have all this evidence and you have, you know, all this proof that you're supposedly not a child groomer, right? Why don't you just... Just release the evidence and prove yourself innocent. And he's supposedly doing that, right? He's supposedly working on this fucking video uh, that is supposed to just clear his name, but I don't want to be that guy, but how long does it fucking take, my man? Like, this is your job, right? Your job is to make YouTube content, make videos, right? It's not like my great-grandfather is loading up Adobe Premiere Pro for the first time with a microphone, just hoping to Christ, you know, that a fucking video will fall out the sky for him here. This guy knows what he's doing. Like, it should not take him an entire, like, year at this point, basically. If you want to really stretch back to the first allegations, it's even probably been longer than that. It doesn't take that fucking long to make a response video and prove yourself innocent. I mean, I'm sorry, but we've seen situations where like false allegations have been made in the past against, you know, YouTube creators, athletes, whatever, right? Usually it does not take them this long to respond. You know what I mean? It doesn't take them this long to come out and basically prove themselves innocent, especially right when Dream is making claims like, oh, I have all this proof. I have all this evidence. Okay, well, if you have it all already, and you've already done the fucking work of gathering it all, let's go ahead and see it, my guy, you know? Like, let, let's go ahead and fucking see your proof. Like, I'm sorry, man, but, like, if allegations like this surfaced and people are like, oh, this fucking Optimus dude's a weirdo, right? I don't care what I'm in the middle of doing. The first thing I'm doing when it comes to my job as a creator is responding to that shit. And I'm proving myself innocent. And I'm showing that this is bullshit, right? I'm not sitting around like, oh, well, you guys will see someday. Wait till I get my video done. Oh, wait, another allegation dropped this week for me to respond to? Up, oh, well, that's gonna delay the video another six months. Like, yeah, I get it, right? A lot of the argument for it is, oh, b -b 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 Optimus, right? You know, you don't want him to, to, to rush out this video, right? And it'd be garbage, and he doesn't actually defend himself, and you know, it's not good. He needs some time to make a cohesive and coherent response, Optimus. Yeah, that's true, but once again, like, how fucking long does he need, you know? Is he, like, compiling, like, the lost footages from the catacombs or something, you know what I mean? Like, is he finding the fucking Dragon Balls and then wishing to Shenron that he can fucking get a video to disprove the allegations? Like, is he going out in the fucking cobalt mines out in the middle of nowhere or whatever and, and building his hard drive or whatever by hand? Like, where is all this proof, bro? Where is all this evidence when there's constantly new allegations coming out? Like, I, I mean, does he think he can't drop like a fucking two-parter or something man like i hate to even have to suggest that hey you gotta drop the two-parter about why you're not a groomer but like dude there's so many fucking allegations at this point and you know people are already desperate now for a response to the, the allegations before the last allegations that came out and we still don't even have answers from this guy about those right he's just been kind of shrugging them off and just oh well i'll have a video out on that someday it's like, bro, every week there's new allegations. And keep in mind, right, not all of the allegations that have been made against Dream are some 1 million percent bulletproof accusation. It's not like an EDP 445 situation, right, where, like, they fucking caught the dude on video trying to meet up with a kid or something. But that's the thing, like, all these people who are making allegations and who are, like, constantly coming and saying, hey, Dream is a groomer, right, whether they're telling the truth or not, they're at least coming with evidence. They're at least trying to use proof to convince people about what's being said. And then when you look at Dream and all the best he can do is make fucking 40 different tweets about something and then somehow magically, mysteriously can't make a video with all this evidence that he's had all this time. Yeah, it just, it, it's not a good look, bro. It, it's almost like he doesn't want people to believe he didn't do this shit, right? And I mean, is this the new cycle? You know what I mean? Like, is this the new fucking Dream cycle here where every three weeks there's going to be a new Google Doc or Twitter thread where, you know, someone new is going to come forward and be like, hey. Dream texted me a picture of his nutsack when I was 15 years old. 
Uh, this guy's a weirdo. And then, you know, everyone's going to be like, hey, Dream, there's your 17th allegation. You're finally going to respond with that video you've been talking about? And then what? He's just going to continuously go, well, I'm still working on it, guys. I mean, <laughs> you got to give me the time to get the mask off. Like, I got to get this fucking, yeah, I got to get this down, bro. I got to get this work going, man. And then, you know, three weeks later, he's going to be like, oh, I'm finally dropping it. And then new allegations come out and he just fucking delays it again. Like, something's got to give, right? At some point, one of these whole things has to be the catalyst where this guy's like fuck it i'm finally gonna drop the proof or whatever right i mean anything at this point like it doesn't even have to be like the full video but like bro you can't disprove even one you can't even be like hey bro i've got so much evidence i'm innocent here i can just fucking you know drip feed you guys some of this info or whatever like literally anything to prove you're innocent at this point but i mean i don't know bro it's just allegation after allegation at this point and like i don't know if he's still gonna respond or if like he's working his video to respond to this I don't know but at a certain point bro like you're running almost out of time I feel like I mean the court of public opinion is strong right and this is one of those situations where like I do personally believe that dream should have the right to respond right like he should have the right to vindicate himself if he really deserves it if he really does have this proof that he's innocent he should be allowed to prove that he's innocent but like only he can do that you know like I, I can't force him to fucking prove that he's innocent I cannot force this man to finally respond respond and drop evidence so anyway with all that being said thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel follow me over on twitter and twitch at sub to optimus make sure to check out shoptimus down below thank you to my watch optimus subscribers your support helps the channel tremendously and until my next video guys this is optimus well talking about the dream allegations and signing out. And that's a wrap on this video, but a big shout out to my Optimus Nation supporters. You guys are the real MVPs here. Your support with just $10 a month unlocks a treasure trove of exclusive videos, constantly updated, archived live stream VODs, and early access to all new uploads. Thanks for watching and see you soon.